in this video we will discuss about this circular rna so whether they are normals or they are abnormals so when the large transcriptome studies are carried out on humans they have found out that uh, rnas are present both in the linear form and also in the circular form however the circular rnas are not predominant and not predominantly uh, translated in case of normal condition however in diseased condition uh, the situation might change so what are the different kind of circular rnas that we will discuss or that we will cover in this uh, video so as the name suggest uh, this uh, circular rna is consist of only exon that is why it is called exon e circular rna and this exon intron circular rna contains both the exon and the intron and this is the larian uh, this is the form of circular rna that contains only intron so it is called as only the circular rna and things that promote circular rna is that back splicing and there are two ways two natural ways by which this back splicing can occur first one is with the help of this rna binding protein or rbp or second one is the larian the larian usually occurs when during translation there is a skipping of any exon that has occurred so and generally what has been find out that this exon circular rna move to the cytoplasm whereas this exon intron rna and circular rna are more found within the nucleus so when this exon circular rna move into the cytoplasm what happens is that this mrna sponging will uh, occur to prevent this circular rna binds to the uh, linear mrna and uh, another way of sponging is that uh, this rbp site sponging uh, another th this is known as protein sponge in which rbp sites are been uh, targeted so that this mrna uh, this circular rna does not interact with the uh, linear mrna it's conjugate linear mrna and what happens in case this sponging does not happen occur is that one of the possibilities that circular rna will interact with the linear rna and thus prevent this translation uh, eukaryotic uh, translator translation initiation factor to proceed the translation this will block the translation and thus inhibit the mrna uh, content thus inhibit or reduce the mrna content uh, within the cells so this is uh, one of the function or one way by which mrna can affect the regular functioning another thing uh, that might happens is that for the for the translation of the circular rna what happens there is a proteins uh, specific proteins that are found within the nucleus or their sequester can occur within the cytosols after that they, it will uh, form together and make a protein scaffolding and thus uh, starts the cap independent uh, translate translation of the circular rna thus uh, final product one can get from the circular rna is similar to the mrna and another thing uh, the circular rna can do is to enhance the transcription of the gene uh, by one of the example that is shown here is that the circular rna interact with u1 uh, u1 sn rnp uh, protein and thus uh, this complex can interact with rna polymerase 2 and promote the transcription of promote the transcription of this gene or we can say particular kind of gene so in this way circular rna can this is one of the example uh, by which circular rna can enhance the transcription of certain genes that are available within the cells and during the large transcriptome studies it has been found that uh, some of the uh, proteins some of the proteins are formed from the circular rna whereas uh, majority of the proteins are formed from mrna 
the circular RNA is uh, the half life period of circular RNA is high around uh, 16 to 24 hours whereas this mRNA mRNA uh, half life period is very low around 4 to 7 hours thus uh, for the case of therapeutic for the case of uh, therapeutic injection the circular RNA uh, can be a better alternative compared to the uh, this linear mRNA compared to the linear mRNA